Do you enjoy event planning? Are you organized with the ability to remain calm under pressure? Do you have attention to detail? If this sounds like you, why not serve in a career as a banquet manager? Banquet managers plan, organize, and direct the service of food and beverages for banquets and other social functions. They oversee food service operations, as well as assign staff duties and oversee their performance. Banquet managers ensure that health and safety regulations are followed and ensure a good dining experience for the customers. To find out what this career brings to the table, we spoke to a banquet manager working in Alberta. Hi, my name is Courtney and I'm a banquet manager. A banquet manager is somebody who coordinates with the client who's hosting an event and all of the team members that work together to make that event happen. So catering, tech, operations, uh, rentals, all of the equipment that goes into running an event. Most of my day in the morning is a coordination, so uh, receiving new event inquiries is a big one, um, detailing an event over email, so getting their catering order, what decor do you want, how many people are coming, making sure that all of the allergies and dietaries are met and communicated clearly, uh, making sure we have all the rentals set for any additional decor like table linens or centerpieces. I work hand in hand with the clients to make sure that their event is falling within their budget and that everything is covered on our end, um, really finalizing all the details there. And then other days, if there's a lot of events happening, sometimes we're in the venue, we're doing the tablecloths, we're setting the table settings, or um, we're checking on catering. We do a lot of coordinating meetings with our team um, just to make sure that we have everyone on the same page, especially when there's a lot of events happening. Do you have an update on this? Update on this. Okay. Because we have a lot of staff on site at events as well, I'm responsible for overseeing them to make sure that their job is being done correctly, they're following our event policies, and making sure that they're following our professional standards as well. Yeah, hold it that way. I started in student events, so I liked to volunteer a lot with different nonprofits, and I found myself working for a student group who was hosting a bunch of different fundraising events for our nonprofit. Um, and I really got excited about how you can use events to connect with different people. And from there, I got into the more formal external events like weddings and banquets. You find the closed part. As a banquet manager, you might work in an expo center, you might work in a wedding hall, maybe a university campus like myself any space that is big enough and might host events as an extra kind of part of their business model, you could be managing there. You have to be really detail oriented just because there are so many different moving parts with a venue. All of the little things make up the one big final event and you don't realize the little details that are gonna get noticed if they're not there. You have to be really good at people skills and communicating. This is still a customer service role, so you are making sure that their details are met and that their needs are met. My working environment is very busy. You're working with your tech team, you're working with your operations team, you're working with your kitchen team. So you really do have people all around you. A lot of it is office work and computer work. You have to be able to sit for long periods of time and focus for long periods of time. Also because we are involved in a lot of the event setup, you do have to be able to lift maybe 30 to 50 pounds just to make sure that you can be setting up the tables, um, lifting heavy boxes, moving things around that way. The amount of education that you need for this job varies depending on which venue you're working at. So specific banquet halls might have specific requirements. Usually some sort of post-secondary education is required, uh, whether that's an undergraduate degree in almost anything, or there are different technical colleges that offer event management courses, um, certificates, things like that. Uh, so I can say cool availability. If you're interested in becoming a banquet manager, the best thing to do is to get involved at events yourself. Think of all the things that might have gone into that event. Building that awareness will help you realize all of the things that go into banquet management if that's something that you choose to do. You can do a cash bar, a host bar. The best part about this job is afterwards you've like worked countless hours, you've been detailing an event for months, it's happened, it goes great, and you get a thank you email or a call from a client the next day saying everything went wonderful. You're always worrying like what could go wrong, the little details, I've spent so much time on this event. So it's really afterwards when the event is finished and everyone's happy and you get that positive feedback. Good banquet managers are calm, flexible, and creative, and can work independently as well as lead a team. They should have strong communication skills to train and supervise staff, and be willing to step in when help is needed. Focusing on food and equipment safety is essential. If this appeals to you, a career as a banquet manager might cater to your personality. 
feast your eyes on the details of this occupation, including training requirements and salary ranges, in the occupational profile on the ALICE website. While you're there, check out some related occupations, including restaurant manager, special event coordinator, and accommodation manager. Explore the possibilities. Go to alice.alberta.ca.